Hello, my friends. My name is Nikolai Nenov. I am certified food expert and pharmacist. Welcome to my channel, where I share with you the latest information on nutrition and health. In today's video, I'm going to talk about whey protein, one of the most popular and widely used supplements in the world. You may have heard of whey protein as a great source of protein for building muscle and enhancing performance. But did you know that whey protein also has many other health benefits? In fact, whey protein is not only good for your muscles, but also for your heart, your immune system, your bones, and your overall health. In this video, I will show you the evidence-based health benefits of whey protein that are backed by scientific studies. So stay tuned and keep watching. Whey protein is a type of protein that comes from milk. It is one of the most popular and widely used supplements in the world, especially by people who want to build muscle, lose weight, or improve their health. Here are the health benefits of whey protein supported by human studies. Number one, excellent source of high quality protein. Whey is a liquid that separates from milk during cheese production. The protein part of whey is called whey protein. It is a complete protein of the highest quality that includes all of the necessary amino acids in its composition. In addition to this, it is easier to digest in comparison to other types of protein. Because of these characteristics, it is considered to be one of the best dietary sources of protein currently available. There are three primary varieties of whey protein powder, which are as follows, concentrate, isolate, and hydrolysate. Concentrate is the most typical form, and it also happens to be the most affordable. Whey protein is a type of milk protein that can be used as a dietary supplement. It is quite popular among athletes, bodybuilders, and other people who desire more protein in their diet. Number 2. Promotes Muscle Growth Whey protein is beneficial for preventing the age-related loss of muscles. As people get older, they experience a normal loss in muscle mass. This almost always results in increased body fat, and also elevates the risk of a wide range of chronic diseases. On the other hand, this unfavorable change in body composition can be somewhat slowed, stopped, or reversed by combining strength training with an adequate diet. Whey protein is beneficial to the process of gaining muscle. Leucine is a branched chain amino acid that is prevalent in whey's content. Of all the amino acids, leucine has the most anabolic, growth-promoting potential. According to the findings of some studies, whey protein is somewhat superior to other forms of protein, such as casein and soy, when it comes to encouraging muscle building. Number 3. Whey protein could lower blood pressure. There is some evidence that whey protein can lower blood pressure. One of the most significant risk factors for coronary heart disease is abnormally high blood pressure, sometimes known as hypertension. Multiple pieces of research have found a correlation between eating dairy products and having lower levels of blood pressure. This effect is thought to be caused by a group of bioactive peptides found in dairy known as angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitors or AC inhibitors. In whey proteins, the AC inhibitors are called lactokinins. In one trial, whey protein supplementation at a dose of 54 grams per day for a period of 12 weeks was shown to reduce systolic blood pressure in overweight individuals. Casein exhibited the same effects. This is confirmed by the findings of another study, which demonstrated substantial effects when participants were administered whey protein concentrate at a dose of 22 grams per day for a period of six weeks. However, this reduction in blood pressure was only seen in people who initially had high blood pressure or blood pressure that was slightly raised. In a trial that employed significantly smaller doses of whey protein, less than 3.25 grams per day blended in a milk drink, researchers found no evidence of any meaningful effects on participants' blood pressure. Number 4. Whey protein may aid in the treatment of type 2 diabetes. High blood sugar levels and insulin resistance are the defining characteristics of type 2 diabetes, which is a chronic condition. Insulin is a hormone that is supposed to stimulate the uptake of blood sugar into cells, keeping it within healthy limits. Whey protein has been shown to be an effective means of controlling blood sugar levels 
by elevating insulin production and enhancing the body's sensitivity to the hormone's actions. As a consequence of this, whey protein can be successfully utilized as an adjunctive treatment option for type 2 diabetes. Whey protein appears to be superior to other forms of protein, such as egg whites and fish. Taking a whey protein supplement before or with a high-carb meal has been shown to moderate blood sugar in both healthy people and those with type 2 diabetes. Number 5. Inflammation may be lowered by whey protein. Inflammation is a natural response to injury or infection, but chronic inflammation can lead to various diseases and health problems. Whey protein is a rich source of branched-chain amino acids, which have been shown to be beneficial for reducing inflammation. Whey protein may help lower the levels of inflammatory cytokines, such as interleukin-6 and tumor necrosis factor alpha, which are involved in many inflammatory diseases. Whey protein may also modulate the immune system and enhance the production of anti-inflammatory molecules, such as glutathione and lactoferrin. Whey protein may be especially helpful for reducing inflammation in older adults who are more prone to sarcopenia and frailty. According to a large study, taking more than or equal to 20 grams day of whey protein supplements can significantly lower CRP, which is a main indicator of inflammation in the body. Number six, there is evidence to suggest that the consumption of whey protein has the potential to augment the body's antioxidant defenses. Antioxidants are compounds that have the ability to counteract the process of oxidation within the human body. This implies that they mitigate oxidative stress and decrease the susceptibility to a range of chronic ailments. Glutathione is widely recognized as a crucial antioxidant in the human body. In contrast to the majority of antioxidants that are obtained through dietary sources, glutathione is endogenously synthesized within the human body. The formation of glutathione in the body is contingent upon the availability of certain amino acids, including cysteine, which may occasionally be limited in quantity. Due to this rationale, the consumption of high cysteine meals, such as whey protein, has the potential to enhance the innate antioxidant defenses of the human body. Several investigations conducted on both human subjects and rats have demonstrated that whey proteins had the potential to mitigate oxidative stress and elevate glutathione levels. Number 7. Whey protein has some positive effects on cholesterol. A risk factor for cardiovascular disease is high cholesterol levels, particularly high levels of LDL or bad cholesterol. One study found that subjects who consumed 65 grams of whey protein per day for a period of 12 weeks had significant reductions in both their total cholesterol and their LDL cholesterol, but more research is required before any conclusions can be drawn. Number 8. Whey protein is extremely satiating, which may aid in reducing appetite. Satiety refers to the sensation of fullness that we experience after eating a meal. This effect is partially dependent on the macronutrient composition of the diet. Macronutrients are proteins, fats and carbohydrates. Protein is by far the most filling of the three macronutrients. Not all proteins, however, have the same effect on satiety. It appears that whey protein is more filling than other forms of protein, such as casein and soy. These characteristics make it especially beneficial for individuals who need to eat less calories and lose weight. Number 9. Whey protein has been shown to potentially facilitate weight loss. The adoption of a higher protein intake has been widely recognized as an effective approach for achieving weight loss, increasing satiety and reducing appetite, leading to a decrease in overall calorie intake. Protein has a higher thermic effect on food compared to carbohydrates and fats, meaning that the body expends more energy to digest and metabolize protein. But what is thermic effect of food? The thermic effect of food is the amount of energy it takes for your body to digest, absorb, and metabolize the food you eat. Following the consumption of food, a portion of the ingested calories is allocated towards the physiological processes of digestion and metabolism. While there may be some discrepancies among sources, it is evident that protein exhibits a significantly greater thermic effect, ranging from 20% to 30%, in contrast to carbohydrates, which range from 5% to 10%, and fat, which ranges from 0% to 3%.
Assuming a thermic impact of 30% for protein, it may be inferred that 100 calories of protein ultimately yield only 70 usable calories. This increased energy expenditure can contribute to a higher overall calorie burn. Additionally, protein has been shown to help preserve lean muscle mass during weight loss. Eating more protein may promote fat loss by 1. Suppressing appetite, resulting in decreased caloric consumption. 2. Enhancing metabolic rate, which helps you burn more calories. And 3. Assisting in the preservation of muscle mass during the process of weight loss. Research studies have demonstrated the notable efficacy of whey protein, suggesting that it might possess a greater capacity for promoting fat burning and inducing satiety compared to alternative forms of protein. Number 10. Whey protein has been shown to provide possible benefits for people suffering from inflammatory bowel disease. Inflammatory bowel disease is a pathological illness distinguished by chronic inflammation in the mucosal lining of the gastrointestinal tract. The term encompasses both Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Beneficial effects of whey protein supplementation on inflammatory bowel disease have been observed in both rodent and human subjects. Nevertheless, it is important to note that the existing evidence is limited in its strength, thus necessitating additional research to be conducted before any definitive assertions can be made. Whey protein also has some potential side effects and risks, such as 1. It can cause digestive problems, such as bloating, gas, diarrhea, and nausea, especially if you are lactose intolerant or allergic to milk proteins. You can avoid or reduce these symptoms by choosing a whey protein, isolate or hydrolysate, which have less or no lactose and are more easily digested. 2. It can interact with some medications such as antibiotics, blood thinners, and osteoporosis drugs. You should consult your doctor before taking whey protein if you are on any medication or have any medical condition. 3. It can increase the amount of calcium excreted in your urine, which can lead to kidney stones or osteoporosis in the long term. You should drink plenty of water and consume enough calcium from other sources to prevent this. Whey protein is a complete protein, which means it contains all nine essential amino acids that your body cannot make on its own. These amino acids are important for many functions in your body, such as muscle growth, repair, and maintenance. Whey protein is rich in branched chain amino acids, BCAA, especially leucine, which is the most important amino acid for stimulating muscle protein synthesis. Muscle protein synthesis is the process of creating new muscle tissue from the protein you eat. The typical dosage is 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day for healthy adults. For athletes or people who want to build muscle or lose weight, the dosage can be increased to 1.2, 1.6 grams per kilogram per day. You should also consume whey protein within an hour of your workout for optimal results. In summary, whey protein is a supplement that can help you with your fitness and health goals, but you should also be aware of its possible side effects and risks. You should also follow the recommended dosage and not exceed it. Thank you for watching this video about the health benefits of whey protein. I hope you learned something new and useful. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also, don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know what you think about whey protein. Do you use it regularly? What are your favorite ways to consume it? I would love to hear from you. See you in the next video.